Number 55. Two coils are placed close together in a physics lab to demonstrate Faraday's law of induction. A current of 5 amps in 1 is switched off in 1 millisecond, inducing a 9 volt EMF in the other. What is their mutual inductance? All right, so this is going to be a variation of this self-inductance formula. All right, I didn't write it in because I'm trying to save a little space over there. But here is the regular inductance formula that an EMF that is induced by the change in current uh, within a circuit is equal to negative inductance, right? The inductance of that particular system multiplied by the change in the current per the change in time, all right? Now this is self-inductance, meaning as the current inside of a particular, let's say coil changes, as this current I changes, it induces its own EMF within the coil itself, all right? Um, when we're talking about now mutual inductance, this is the same formula. The only thing that changes here is now this is going to be the EMF, let's say, induced in the second coil as a result of the change in current of the first coil. Okay, this is then divided by time. And this is no longer L, but rather now it becomes M for mutual inductance. So these two are basically the same formula, just a couple of things are changing. All right, so we're going to use this formula. All right. And uh, this is the formula we're going to use anytime we're going to have mutual uh, inductance problems. All right. So now let's just erase this. And what they're asking us to solve for is the mutual inductance, right? So that means I got to solve everything. Now, by the way, you can kind of just forget about the negative sign, all right? The negative sign is there because of Lenz's law. Um, don't worry about it in terms of the signs. The mutual inductance will be a positive value, all right, no matter what. So you can just kind of just go, all right, see you later. Don't worry about it. Let's calculate the magnitude, all right? So uh, solving this for M, we realize that it's going to be then the EMF induced in coil number two, multiplied by the change in time, all over the change in the current in the first right wire. So what's the EMF that was induced in the, in one of them, it said nine volts. Okay, great, so you plug in the nine. The change in time was one millisecond, but you know we need that in seconds, so take one times 10 to the minus three, and then divide that then by the uh, current, the change in current, and it says five amps, uh, in one is switched off. So obviously it went from five to zero. So what's the change? Well, it's just five amps, right? Set straight forward. Now take out that handy dandy calculator and then let's plug in the value. So this is nine times uh, 10 to the minus three, basically, then divided by five. So this is going to be a zero or 1.80 times 10 to the negative three. All right. The units here uh, for inductance are going to be Henry's. Okay. Henry. I wonder who, I wonder who discovered inductance. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please help us out by subscribing and I will see you soon. Take care.